That's very curious. What's very curious? That you're only recording audio from one person. No, no, no. You, they can hear you as well. Don't worry. No, I've seen these videos being. Okay, put one on him. If he feels left out. No, I don't feel left out. But it's just curious. It was happening before. Many people just walk away. Yeah. <laughs> Without, yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but by the way, the name of the uh, YouTube channels, if you want. I, I don't. But, but hold on. When you watch the video, and if you feel discriminated, that means we are trying to subvert your your audio or something. Then you can say yes, we are being unfair. But if you watch on our channels the videos, sometimes be, before, because of technicality, it happens even to my voice, not just the. The, the person I'm speaking to. Okay. And like, like the brother explained to you, that many times what happens is that when we put the microphone on, on the other person, they, you know, because not, not yeah. deliberately, yeah. but sometimes they just walk away and the person who's uh, recording might be away from the camera and he doesn't realize. Yeah. So I walk away, the person I'm speaking to walks away and the cameraman is not there. Yeah. So, the, and many times it has happened, isn't it? Uh, it makes yeah. sense. Okay, so nothing to discriminate you, okay? Okay. Trust me. And if it happens, you can... I've got your word. Yes. Inshallah. So what I'm saying is that as a person... Sorry, I don't know if you're agnostic or atheist. I'm an atheist. You're an atheist. So you you don't believe God exists at all. There's no possibility at all. No, that's not atheism. That's not what atheism is. Okay. Atheism is... You oh, deny... My atheism is I don't believe there's enough evidence to believe there is a God. Okay. Does but you sense? think but you think there is a possibility that God can exist? There's possibility for anything. Of course. Yeah. That sounds like agnostic to me, but no, anyway. No, no, I deny his existence based on there is no evidence for his existence. Yeah. That's what the agnostic says. So. They say that until we see evidence, we remain undecided. Yeah, but I think that because there is no evidence, yeah, I don't that, think there is a God. That's exactly what they say. They agnostic. But no, anyway, they're, they're still open. Doesn't yeah. matter. Atheist agnostic, you don't believe in God. I until know. you see evidence. Okay. So the question I would ask you is that, do you believe that the universe has a beginning? Did it come from yes. somewhere? Yeah, it, it somewhere. does have a beginning. Okay. How, how do you think it began? It began with the Big Bang, most possible, probably. Yeah. And before the Big Bang? Before the Big Bang, it's beyond us, because that's the, that's the furthest we can access. Actually, the singularity is the furthest. Singularity is the theory. No, it's not. Oh, uh, hypothesis. Uh, so there is mathematical uh, yeah. explanation for it, but there is no evidence as there is for Big Bang. Because okay. Big Bang, we can see it happen. We can see, we can see things expanding. We can see the shooting that's happened from that one point. That we shows us that how it goes on and everything extracted from one yeah. point, right? So they can. So we can see Big Bang happening. We you can you see cannot it really see the Big Bang, we but can, you can. We can, you can postulate that it happened. No. Based on the scientific experiments that done, no. based we on can the actually uh, see if you have. Have you seen Big Bang? Happen? No, I can't because I don't have the access to that powerful uh, telescope that sees so far beyond. Oh, you think the, the Higgs boson light. is for no. the Big Bang? No, Higgs then boson has nothing to do with telescopes. Higgs so, boson is an actual. So, which telescope saw Big Bang? I'm saying the remnants of the Big Bang can be seen in the That's what star. I'm telling you. So they can postulate based on that. Yes. They, no one can see the Big Bang because it's so way back in the past. Yes. But that's what I'm telling you. You can't see it. Because you were arguing you can the, see it. The after effects of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes. So based on that, they can postulate. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So because you're saying it began to exist. Yes. Do you think there is a cause? And Is this cause something or nothing? And if it is something, what is it? A uh, cause. I don't believe there's a cause. So if there's no every cause, everything that began to exist has a cause. Has Do a potential. What does Again, that mean? Potential. So whatever it was before had the potential that with any accident. Well, accident is also because there is no time before that. No, no, I'm not telling you, you how, how it happened. Like yeah. I'm asking you, is there a cause? And you're saying, well, I, I don't understand what you mean by potential. What do you mean by cause? Because cause, when cause you means, say cause, you, you imply something. Like yes, that. I'll, I'll tell you what cause. So cause and effect are principles that philosophers and even scientists use. Okay. So for example, if I wanted to have tea, yes, I would actually need to boil water. Yes, okay. how does, water, uh, how, how does uh, water boil? By fire or electric? Yes, 
So the fire or electric, the energy is the source, and that is actually the cause. Okay? So without this cause, you won't have boiling water. So the boiling water is the effect, the cause is the fire or the electric. Is that simple? Because the universe existed, sorry, it began to exist, which is the effect, I'm asking what is the cause? We don't know. But there must be a cause, right? No necessarily. It cannot exist by itself. Yeah, the potential. There was potential for this universe to exist. How? How? Because it happened before the existence of universe. What, how is just postulation, as you said? No, no. I'm asking you the, the cause. There must be a cause for everything that begins to exist. Yes. Just like... Now you're asking me to be certain of something that existed before time. I cannot be certain of something No, that no. Existed. All I'm asking you is that, is there a cause or not? Any cause. There has to be a cause I'm because it's potential. Yes. Oh my God. I don't know what you mean by potential. Because what I'm saying is that if the universe began to exist, yes. it must have a cause. This is the principle of the Kalam cosmological I argument. I know William Lane Craig's argument. Oh, this is not William Lane Craig's argument. Uh, Kalam, he <laughs> named a Kalam cosmological argument. Yeah, but there are, there are philosophers before, yeah? Imam Ghazali used it. And William, William Lane Craig, he just basically fine tuned it. Yeah. Yes, so it's and, not, and it's not his argument. It. When you say Kalam cosmological argument. Yeah, the, the terminology. Yeah, that's yeah. William Lane yeah. Craig. But it's not his argument. Like I said, Imam Ghazali used it, and there are other philosophers yeah. who used it. So, what's your point about the? My point is because about you're not making it clear. What, what, no, no, what I'm making it quite clear. I'm saying just like for for boiling water. But that's just innate because you cannot. Uh, that's an analogy I gave you. Yeah, you, but you this and uh, this analogy doesn't work because it boiling does. water and the existence of the universe no, aren't no, it's, equal. You asked me what is cause and effect. I use the analogy to explain to you what is cause and effect. It looks like you didn't know what was cause and effect. I, 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 I hope it's clear now. That, no, because you're implying something in between the lines, which I'm not. What am sure I implying? About. I didn't say anything. That's why. Okay. Let's in fact, I've been, I've, I haven't used the term God. If that's what you're worried about, I haven't used the term. You cannot right now. That's why. It's, I it's can't. Not to do if I wanted me. to. No, no, no. You really can't. I can if I wanted to. But I said God. I said God created. God is a cause. I could have said that, <laughs> but I didn't say it. You see, that's uh, that's just intellectually uh, inferior argument. What do you mean intellectually inferior argument? If you just say that happened. No, no, you said I cannot make that argument. That, because because I, I don't believe you to be. I don't expect be you to believe, that but all. The, that's the reason I'm asking. If you do not believe even in the principle of cause and effect, okay, then I, I don't think you're even using logic. Uh, let's say, okay, cause. No, no, not not say. No, I want. Because I want to see where you're going my, with My it. friend, all I want to know is do you understand cause and effect or not? No, I don't know what that is. Okay, so if you don't even know the basics of such logic, then how will you be able to understand God? But or or or, God, or questioning or questioning God. I, I, I wanna see your point now. Let's move my point forward. my point is very simple. Look. Logically, in order for something to come into existence, yeah. yes, you need a cause. Okay. Yes? Because something doesn't just pop out of nothing. This is a prince I hope at least you you believe in that principle. Okay. Or you at least Acknowledge that principle. Okay? okay. Do you believe nothing exists? We don't know. We have no deal with nothing. Do you know what nothing is? We have no dealings with nothing. No, no, I'm unknown. asking you, do you know what I'm is nothing? Saying we have no dealings with I'm nothing. I'm not asking if you have dealings. I'm asking, do you know the term we, nothing, what it means? What does that I'm saying we cannot quantify it. It's, it's nothing. What difference does it make? It makes a huge difference. Why? I'll tell you why. Why? If if nothing exists or not, that is the first thing you need to at least understand in order for it to, to say that I can quantify or not quantify. What? You need to at least understand what quantify is nothing. Quantify what? Nothing. I'm saying we've had no dealings with nothing. How do you know that? Because we've never come across nothing. Zero is nothing. Have you ever written zero in your books? Yes. So you have dealt with nothing? No, nothing in uh, existence. Again, maths is abstract. Again, yeah. same thing. That's the question I'm asking you. No, you're going in circles again. No, no, I think you don't understand nothing. So let me explain and you agree or disagree with me okay. based on that. Nothing means, in, some, in simple terms, nothing means the absence of everything. In other yes. words, in other words, nothing doesn't even exist for you to have a dealing with. That's what I said. So does it exist or not? We don't know. <laughs> there he goes again. Okay, I don't think you understand we've had nothing. We have no dealings with nothing. My friend, if it doesn't exist, how will you have dealing with it? 
No, as we know, it doesn't exist. You know. Thank you. Finally. Okay. Because we have no. Details. Okay. So if something doesn't exist, yeah. can it bring into existence something that exists? We don't know that. My friend, if something doesn't exist at all, can it bring about something? Again. We don't know what nothing is. How you can just I said give it, it a characteristic? You just agreed it doesn't exist. But because we don't have any dealings with it. Now it's something that doesn't exist, you're asking me to give it a characteristic. My friend Ali, do you know if something how doesn't know? exist, how can you have dealing with it? Everybody understands. So why nothing. are you asking me a question about it? Because that we because don't you, know anything about Because you're saying that we don't have dealing with it. Yes. It, it implies that in your subconscious you're thinking it might have existed. Or it if we haven't seen it, maybe it does. Oh my god. This is embarrassing, honestly. If what do you mean? You're saying maybe nothing exists. No, my problem is with certainty. You are so certain. I am certain it doesn't exist. In fact, I'm 100% certain it doesn't exist. How? Because nothing is nothing. What do you mean? Nothing doesn't exist. It's the absence of everything. Even in the absence of everything. I, I have no idea what the point you're trying to make. Because you're trying to say that it is there is a possibility, correct me if I'm wrong or if I misunderstood you, you are saying there's a possibility nothing can exist. Am I right? I'm saying as we know it, as we know it now, we don't know of any place or anything that's nothing. And nothing, if you come across nothing, will you recognize it? I don't know, really. That's it's it's really pointless argument. No, it's not pointless. It's completely, it no, completely. It's not. The is. people who are watching this, yeah, they will understand the conversation here has now been reduced to something which is. It's not reduced to nothing. I would say it's reduced to <laughs> understanding your misunderstanding of the term nothing. Maybe that's a possibility. Okay, do you at least I'm, agree? I'm okay with my shortcomings. No, no, it's not no your shortcomings. It. It's, 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 it's illogical to say that if something, sorry, if, if the absence of no, everything, my, hear me out. Hear my me. problem is you want me to be certain of things, of things that there is no evidence or there's no point for. There's no possibility. That's what I'm telling you. But I cannot be certain. Of, I, I have do no you know any, have you, on anything. Okay, let me ask you. Have you come across any credible scientist? Who said that there is a possibility for nothing? Yep. Ali, can I at least finish my sentence? Have you come across any philosopher, scientist, or even a wise man, or a, or a professor, or a teacher, intelligent person, who has ever told you that there is a possibility for nothing to exist? That doesn't mean, if the whole human race right now doesn't know, I don't care how big the scientist is. I'm not going to be certain. They know my prophets. I'm not going to follow anybody blindly. I am not a certain person and you cannot okay. make me. that only means that you don't know the meaning of nothing again I am why do you want me to be certain about okay. you know why in order for us to communicate we need to understand certain terms that we use no. for example if I said that, that no. hold, hold, just a minute if I told you there is a possibility for a married bachelor to exist again. hear me out hear me out is that a possibility for a married bachelor to exist No. Why no? You said you cannot be certain. Because these terms are contradictory. Thank you. So is nothing and something. But, but we, we have dealings with both of these. Why both do of you which? see that? Have, where did you deal? Bachelorhood and married men. No, no. We have dealings with no, both No, no, no. But have you dealt with a married bachelor? No, no. Because we because? have dealings with married. We have dealings with bachelors. And we know if, if one person is married, he's no bachelor. If he's bachelor, he's no married. Thank you. Okay? Because it's a contradictory but term. we have no dealings okay. with... With okay. nothing Do in you, itself. I told you, you had zero. Zero is nothing. Again, it's a concept. We are concerned of affinity. That's what I've been telling you. Nothing is a concept. No, Thank it you. can be an actual place. That's what I'm trying to say. Nothing because, can be an actual place. Well, in actual existence anyway. Oh my God. I think this is getting ridiculous this. now. No, because you want me to be certain. You were certain I, about the married bachelor. Because we've had dealing with the both sides. I had dealing Why with nothing as a zero. I've told you. And you too had it, but you're not acknowledging you it, that's all. You can deny its existence now. Deny what? Uh, like, there is forever the humanity exists on this planet and however we advance in technology in You will never get anyway. nothing, trust me. You, you will never, never get nothing. Who, what gives you the authority Based to Based on the that? definition of nothing. What do you mean? Do you know the definition of nothing? The absence of everything. Okay. okay. What is that? Just think about it for a minute. 
absence of everything. Anything that you can conceptualize, anything that you can see, anything you can observe, yes. absence of everything. Yes, but that's our Will you concept. Wait a the universe, oh. the universe yeah. in its own vast existence is not dependent on, on our mentality. What we I didn't say it was. From it. But concept of nothing we created, maybe there is something in the universe that's there, but we don't know. That will be something. Thank you. Again, you can when, you, when you see, wait a minute, I think you, you don't realize what you're no, saying. the whole point is, yes. you want to, I've said I'm 100% sure nothing doesn't exist. You are, good for you. But good if you, for you. And I'm not okay. saying you're wrong to do wait that. Ali, I'm I think I'm not that person. If I, if I understand you correctly. No, actually, do, you, do you see that? I'm saying, no, I, as we know now. As now, know future, now, nothing will never exist, okay. trust me. I'm not a certain person. Good for you. You're not a certain you person? I, I, I don't believe in certainty. So you don't believe in any reality? Certainty. Reality? That's what I'm telling you. If, you're, if, if you believe in a reality, means you're certain that it exists. Again, uh, why, where are we confused? Yeah. If I started answering this, it's going to no, get no, too Ali, long Ali, again. listen. When you're saying it's in future, when you start to know more things, yes, you will know nothing. But wait, 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 wait a minute. Again, I'm listen, not... Ali, Ali, wait a minute. Hear me out at least, no, the point I'm, I'm making. The, at least, the, at can least we not out. agree with two different people? No, no, no. You at least hear me out, last minute, and then we stop here. Last minute. You're saying in future, there's a possibility we'll know nothing. Maybe. Okay. In order for you to know something, what criteria do you use? It's unknown, again. No, no, again. I'm saying, I'm, not, I'm using a different perspective now. It's no, not the same you're thing. Not. You're saying that in I'm future... Saying, can we move forward from this? Yeah, we can if you understand the term nothing. Looks like you don't understand it. I'm saying in the future... I have given you, as we know now, it does not exist. I've given you that. In the future, when you, when human, when hu, uh, human beings come to know nothing... Maybe, I'm not saying at that... At least let me finish the sentence. In future, if human beings come to know nothing, yes? How will they know that is nothing? I don't know. Okay, so it looks like... You want, you want me to be certain about something that I cannot... Are you certain about anything in your life? I try 100%. not to be. 100%. I try not to be. Okay. Are you certain that you have consciousness? Mm, interesting. Yes. Why? Almost. Why? Have you ever seen consciousness? No. So how do you know you're certain? It's, it's, a, it's a concept that I choose to believe in. No, but how are you certain? Certain as in 100%? Yes. You can change my mind on it. I'm no, not I'm, not, I'm not changing your mind. I'm asking you Again, I've answered based on your own As faculties. I know it now, yes. You're certain? Yes. Okay, based on what? Give me evidence that you have consciousness. Empirical evidence. There is no empirical evidence. Okay, so you can have something. At least, do you know if it's material or immaterial? Most probably immaterial, but there is still postulation on it. So, I, I, most probably immaterial. Immaterial, yes. okay. Do you believe in immaterial things? Mm. You, know, yeah. you do? Wow! That's the first time I've come across an atheist who actually believes in immaterial things. Actually, no, that's wrong. There are people who call themselves atheists, like Buddhists, who don't believe in God, but they believe in spirituality and so on. Sure. So, strike that. Anyway, but you're not that kind of Buddhist, are you? You're not Buddhist. No, I'm okay. Not. So, it's, it's, it's quite... I'm saying fascinating I'm, to hear I'm, an atheist. I'm, again, it's the same consistency. You can change my mind on it. No, no, I'm asking you because it's you already believe it 100%. That's what I'm saying. Before, I didn't say without it. evidence, you already believe in... Oh, hold on. So you're saying you, you're not 100% sure you're conscious? I'm saying, yes, I am conscious. Okay. I believe that I'm conscious. No, no, but conscious. so you believe on there faith. Is, there is enough uh, theories and everything that speaks to me, right? Actually, there is no empirical evidence for it. No, there are enough theories out there that speak to me and I choose to believe okay, it. Okay, so which theory of consciousness? I choose to believe it. Again, consciousness is something that we don't know much about. Then again, I cannot be certain about things. Okay, so can I say, can I, based on what you just told me, yes. can I say that you actually believe it on faith? Uh, no. Because you, you believe it without evidence. So it's, it can only be in, you believe it by faith. There, there, there are things, uh, there are some evidence out there, I'm sure. What evidence? I haven't come There's no empirical evidence, that's for empirical, sure. Empirical, no. So what evidence is there then? There is no empirical evidence. So what kind of evidence do you rely on? I, it makes sense to me, first of all. I use a Maya, right? And 
uh, there is something that drives us, and I believe that's consciousness. You know, you're talking like a religious person now. Have you? If you Imayas heard yourself, will be, Imayas will Wallah, be. I'm not kidding. I'm, if you heard I'm yourself, not, go I'm and remind this. Against religious people. No, no, I'm not no, 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 no. Hear me out. You don't so, sound like an atheist when you said that. That's what I meant. You what, sounded like a what person. Sounded like atheist. Sounded like atheist means when you said. Sounded like. What, what does okay. it mean? What that means is that you believe it on faith. That's what I meant. As an atheist, without evidence, you believe in your consciousness, hundred percent. Yes, you said. When did I say that? I asked you, do you I'm saying change my mind. You can no, change no, no, my no. mind on it. I asked you, is there... So I am open to the possibilities Ali, of change Ali, hold on. I asked you, is there anything you're certain about 100%? And then I asked you, do you believe in your consciousness 100% that you are conscious? As I know it now. Yes, so, so you're 100% sure, right? That leaves the room to change in future. In if fu there is evidence... Okay, so in future it's possible that you are not really a conscious being. No, that doesn't. Maybe the concept we call conscious is something else. Why don't you see that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean? So, so what do you understand by conscious? Let's see again, that. Again, again, you. We go Why are you feeling so frustrated? Circle. It's a simple because logical question. Because you're question. asking me to be certain about things. Yes. And I've told you, you certain. Good for you. I'm not a certain person. That's me. Can we move forward from there? So, if you're not certain about your consciousness, it is possible. My consciousness, again. Ali, you're, the you cut me of off again. No, because you're making a wrong point again. Which point? Let me make the, the point at least. Let me finish the point. The concept of consciousness. Okay. I did not finish the point. You cut me off. Okay. My point, the point I was making is this. That it is possible in your understanding that you don't even exist. Is that true? Sure. So I could just be talking to a hologram. I'm saying I exist right 100% sure? Now. Right now I exist. Are yeah. you 100% sure? Yes. Good. 100% sure, yeah? I am. I'm asking again because, because I'm in the next sentence right you'll now. tell me that it's possibility that I don't exist. I am existing right now as I think. Yes, I do exist. And that's the reason I ask you, is there anything that you are 100% sure? That means, for example, if I told you... Again. If I told you okay. certain... Where did we start this conversation? Co I think it would have been really, really effective if mm -hmm. we uh, formalized an objective for this conversation because this has been really frustrating. Okay, the objective... The whole thing has become, you're a certain person, I'm not a certain person, but you want me to be a certain person. person no, really. the whole thing, the conversation started with the origin of the universe. Yeah, but why is your argument well, dependent... You asked me a question, me a allow me to answer, please. Yeah. But why, you ask me a question, allow me to answer. Why is your argument... If you, if you keep cutting me off, then okay. this is not a dialogue. All right. Okay? No All I'm saying is that in order for you to have a conversation, yes? yes? If every time you use I don't know as a punctuation, yes? If every time you say that I'm not certain about things, yes? yes. That means in life, for example, even if I told you, is this three-sided... Uh, uh, object a triangle you will say I'm not certain so you need to understand about objective truth and subjective truth to me based based on this conversation it seems like for you everything is subjective there can never be an objective thing out there have I analyzed it correctly Interesting. okay again what's the point of this discussion? the point of this is why that is your your argument dependent on me being the person you want me to be. No, See, no, your no. Argument, I don't want to change you. No, because your argument doesn't seem to be objective. Actually, it's dependent on me being a certain person. Why? No, no. Do you believe there is objective truth and subjective truth? Again, again, you're changing topics. I'm not changing topics. Now. Again, you trying to it's make... It's called a logical, no, you deductive trying to make, an no, analysis. You're trying that's to all. make an objective argument. But that's dependent on me being the person you want me to be. What kind of objectivity because is Because the argument... No, you want me to be a certain Ali, person. Ali, hold on. Hold on. Do you believe there is anything that is objective truth? Again, where did we start this conversation? If I give you another question, it's going to keep on going. No, it's... What is the point of the this? The point of this is, if you are going to be a, a person who believes that everything is subjective, then that is a flawed understanding of reality. Okay. Okay? Do you know why? Okay, do you know why? Do you know why? The reason for that is because you will never believe anything in life. Shall I tell you why? Okay, imagine this. I'll give you a very good, a very simple analogy, which which anyone and everyone should be able to understand. Imagine you are in a room, yes, and I ask you, 
how is the temperature in the room? And there is your friend, I don't know his name, what was his name? The guy with the Jimmy. red jacket? Jimmy. Jimmy? Okay, let's say Ali and Jimmy are in a room. And I ask them, what is the temperature in the room? Jimmy says, it's a bit chilly. You say, it's, it's, it's normal, normal room temperature. Yes? Now, this is a subjective opinion from both of you. If I wanted to know the objective truth, is that a way? Object. Yeah, you can measure the temperature. Fantastic. There's, there's evidence. Absolutely. But we were talking Brilliant. about the unknown thing. Wait, wait, wait. No, okay. Hold on. Let me finish this the analogy. My, my friend, my friend. That's what my friend, just hold on. Let me finish. Remember I asked you about, is there anything objective out there? And you were not sure? Again. You answered the question yourself. That I can or you can bring a thermometer and you can check the exact temperature of that room. So your subjective opinion... And Jimmy's subjective opinion it doesn't, matter. doesn't matter when you have yeah. the objective truth. Yes. So once again, do you believe in objective truth? Again, that's a broad <laughs> argument, man. <laughs> he just answered it yourself. Okay, anyway, you know, I think you really need to study a bit of philosophy, a bit of sure. logic, and I'm not trying to put it down. In order to have these conversations... But why is your argument dependent on what I think? Because the scientists agree with this objective truth. Then make your argument. Why I made... In order for my friend, I think my is argument is very simple. The universe began to exist. Okay. In order for it to exist, it sure. needs a cause. In order for this cause to be there, it must that cause must be uncaused. Yes, and it must be intelligent. It must now, be up. Now things can are, be uncaused. What, what's that? Now things can be uncaused. What do you mean? You just argue for every effect. There's a cause, right? No, I'm saying. In or, I, I was explaining, but you cut me off again. I was going to tell you why that because first. You just I was going to tell you why that first cause has to be uncaused. Because if you don't, then you will have an infinite regress, and that will not. Ne you will never exist. I will never exist. The universe will never exist. So there can be because uncaused of, things or entities, right? There, there has to be a first cause in order. No, no, no. no. They, can there be? Now I'm speaking your language. Go on. I want you to be certain. Yeah, now. go on. Can there be uncaused entities or forces or anything? Uncaused. There can. There. No, 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 no. I'm answering. Yes or no? Hey, That's hey, your wait, language. I never. Certain. Yes. Wait, no? wait a minute. That's how you. Speak. I will answer the That's way I you want. Speak. You're getting, you're getting now agitated. I think. Because I am. Why? I really am. Why? Because you, you made all of your argument based on. When did I, I ever am. say during the conversation you have to answer yes and no? When did I ever say because that? Because everything you made. Why are I, you certain? I about? asked you, is that objective truth? Is that subjective truth? So why cannot you? Are you really But if you're unsure about everything, then everything is subjective. Nothing is ever objective with okay. you. And okay. Mr. Jimmy there. We were talking about specifics. You jump through generalities and specifics like they... What they generalities and specifics? Like we're talking about the concept of conscious and then you apply the same concept on every single thing on the universe? How can you do no, that? No, because we know what consciousness is. Do you know again, what is consciousness? Again, you cannot apply the same argument on every Actually, you can. Thing. That's what science do. In order for you to understand something which is objective and subjective, in order for you to know at least you're conscious okay. or not conscious, we're in going, order for something you to know there's a causality and an effect, can you I, need to know the meaning of these terms, otherwise you can't can have a conversation. I, can, I, can I summarize? Go on, please. Right? All of your so-called objective argument was based around what you think of me or what I should be. Why? Why do you want me to be a certain person for your argument to work? No, no, no. Your <laughs> argument was supposed to be... Objective. You know something, Ali? My argument, the same terminologies if I use with different people... Why did you become about me then? What? You're taking it personally now. Because you asked me all these personal <laughs> questions. Which personal question I asked you? Did I ask you about no, your marriage, no, about your wife, no, about your pin pin sense. code, about your or, account number? Or about, which personal about, question did I ask you? Uh, instead of making your own argument, you know, independent okay. of me, I think you, you I think you, there's a, a there, there seems to be a misunderstanding here. The reason I'm asking you yes. is because I'm having the conversation with you. Yeah, but you know, making. So I'm not going to go and ask Jimmy because he's talking to somebody else. Then. The whole point of having a conversation that you can learn from yes. is you present your point of view independent of me. No, so I have to talk to you. No, no that's argument. I, I'm not interested in argument. No, it's a conversation in which. That's, okay. That's very, very Ali, can I ask you something? Behavior. In order for us to understand each other, do we need to know the meaning of the words that we're using? 
we you give me your words and then i'll make what i make of them and then i'll give you my rebuttal on that yeah but how is that not simple enough for no, you no. to understand i'll tell you why because if you're going to think everything is subjective and you have done this throughout the conversation you said even the term nothing is possible for it to exist because if, if nothing not exists then it's a something it's not a nothing anymore it is something I'm not you need a to under certain person exactly why that's can't a... you move forward there okay really? if you're going to you know how you... hard is it no no it's, it's it's very hard when you when you actually keep changing the meaning and then you say your arguments not dependent if on you're not me. going to let me finish and you're going to keep cutting me no, off every time there's something that always exists or not is no he's saying he's saying there's a possibility in future that we can find nothing they might be <laughs> then that will be something again you're doing it right now what That's yeah. not what I said. Does he believe in resurrection? Do you believe in resurrection? No, no, he's not a Christian. He's a, huh? he's not a Christian. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying do resurrection. When he died, he came to life. Do you believe in God? No, he doesn't believe in God. He's an atheist. You are nothing. You created from a drop of water. You are nothing in the first place. You were created from nothing. You became a human. Why do you believe in when you die? You became a another human being. So we have now <laughs> new brain. This explosion. You need it. Yeah. That it's possible that nothing non-existent can make something. No, they they actually don't understand the meaning of nothing, because these things is possible in future. Right now we don't know, but in future it's possible that we might know nothing. I saw you two weeks ago, didn't I? Okay. So what I'm saying is that look, we as Muslims, and were you a Muslim once? Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Uh, in the at least I, I mean you had the opportunity. you understand islam and yes look for my let, own way. let me ask you this you know as muslims we believe in life after death yeah. yes and uh, we believe in allah and we believe in the angels so we believe in a lot of things which are immaterial yes just like you believe in your consciousness which is immaterial and you believe in it 100% certainty that's debatable i know with you because being subjective in everything that's different so what i'm saying is that what if it's possible that when you die yes there really is allah and uh, the consequences your of your actions are real it's going to be uh, real is going to be manifesting in that real and there really is a life after death yes okay who's taking the bigger risk the person like like uh, yourself yes or a person like me imagine if the reality which you believe in sorry if if, if the pascal's uh, wages yeah so if you believe in that after you die you become dust and that's it yes Who's taking the bigger risk? Someone who believes I am. in religion? Yes. I am. So what what would you what would happen if you take such a big risk and then this eternal life yeah. is going to be the reality for you? So that's that's a question I can answer from my point of view, right? Yeah, please do. I was hoping you will answer from your point of view. No nobody else. Thank you. Right. I have actually thought about Pascal's wager. Yeah. I think Allah as a god is not worthy of worshiping my worshiping good for you happy you keep yeah. in it i would like to know by why but carry on for, carry on. for my worshiping is yeah. not worthy because there are standards that i want a god to have if there was a god allah falls short of that right okay any god any human made construct of god they all fell, fell short of that this camera is this one. <laughs> this camera is this one. All right. Oh, uh, she not allowed to come on camera? No. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Uh, sorry, where was I allowed? Yeah, you said you are Allah yeah. is not worthy of. It's not by my standard is not worthy. Yeah. Because for me, God, they, he could have done such a better job if there was a God. Yeah. You yeah. find out that there is a God. You yeah. and you'd say I'll be happy. No, no, he he already agreed that he's taking the bigger risk. I'm taking the bigger. That's what I'm saying. So you say then to God, I didn't consider you to be worthy of worship. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm I'm happy to be. Go for it. Burn me. Go for it. Burn It's me. fine. Go for it. Burn me. Do your worst, because you've done it to millions and millions of people before on Earth when children are dying in the ca cancer in uh, in the. But I thought you don't believe in God. Hmm? I thought you don't believe in God. You asked me if there is a God. Yes. Then I I will answer him. But if on principle I don't believe in you. because you weren't worthy no no but hold on, hold on you were cruel to children cruel to children yes how because children die of uh, in pain man children die of uh, of uh, hunger of thirst yeah. there's no clean water to drink yeah. what does islam say about i, I, I don't care what does islam me, say about feeding the me, poor and the hungry for me i can say you weren't worthy because innocent children who have been committed any 
scene that you describe what was their fucking fault why did they die can we not use expletives okay cuz there are children who might be watching this as well so it's my to the camera i was asked my point of view and i'm giving my point of view honestly so you're saying when i'm honest it's going to come out well uh, that's are you 100% sure you're honest so basically your honesty means it's vulgar no 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 it's okay he said sorry sorry let's let's give You said sorry for I'm that. That's fine. No problem. I, I decide okay. my own vulgarity. Ali, I decide my oh, really? own. Oh really? Just one second. You decide your own vulgarity. Yes, for me the word. Uh, no, no, no. This word. No, no. When you say you decide your own vulgarity, which words are vulgar or not? So yes. basically, you can go to your workplace and you tell your manager, she's a woman, yes. and all this. Again. Word, wait, wait. Let me finish. Yeah. Something that every feminist. will say this is totally in against women and so on he'll say i decide my own words what i say you go to israel for example and you say i decide what i say you people this and you commit all this antisemitism and you'll be saying yeah that's me i decide my own words what kind of person do you think i am um what kind of person do you think i am really you I'll, think i'm going to gonna be offensive for the you? purpose of being offensive i have no idea exactly then why are you uh, assuming the worst of me but what i'm saying i can is, decide what's good and it perfectly aligns with everybody else but that's me deciding I, i'm surprised I all decide. of a sudden as an atheist you start talking about morality okay why? can we not why not that? i never talk about morality with you what do you mean again no because <sighs> oh you had it with somebody else i see so somebody must oh. have Okay. Some something must be Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> just to okay. No, you are assuming the worst of me. I am not that assuming I'm going to do the worst. No, I not. I, I not. am a good enough person I, I believe am saying to choose the, the good thing. The basic principle that you just elucidated that yes. I decide my own vulgarity. Isn't that what you said? What's vulgar for me? Yes, I yes. decide that. And so the now, word fucking is not vulgar. No, no, I didn't say what this word. Let's not use it. You know already. I bad. didn't say this word only. Yeah. The moment you take that position, you decide yes. what is offensive to others. That's what it means. Vulgarity. You decide. No. Hang no. on, hang on. Hear me out. Do you decide what is offensive to others? No. Who decides? They decide for themselves because I'm deciding for right. myself. So if people Simple decide, if people decide use of this language yes. is offensive, okay. are you going to accept them? Good for you, but you don't get to tell me that. You know, you're not really being very consistent. I am. You sir. Perfectly. Listen, listen. I'm not going to tell you. May I make my point first? It's you my said, turn. You've been speaking no, no, for a while now. I want Listen to just to me. make the Listen, point very quickly. Listen, just two minutes. Fine. Listen to me. Go ahead. Okay. You believe in God and a land after life. Right? If I say it's offensive, are you going to censor yourself? If I say women in hijab in street, that's offensive to me. Are you going to tell women not to wear hijab? How is it? Are you going to do it or not? I want to know in terms of who decides offensive and based on what. That's why I ask for morality. Okay. You just used an argument that what other people find offensive, based on what I think for myself, I should censor myself because of other people. No, I'm, I'm turning the same wheel on you. What is the basis of making something? Are you offensive? saying that you have the right to I'm offend? I'm choosing. Choosing based on for what? Myself. Ali, are you are you saying that you have the right to offend? Uh, offense isn't given; it's taken. No, no, I'm, I can. No, no, you have the right to honest. offend means do you have deliberately going to offend someone? Do you have that right? Yeah, as long as it doesn't. So you have right to offend an Israeli Jew by calling them lots of things, right? Going to their country and and being anti-Semitic. And taste the mitic. What do you mean by that? What and, they and mean by that? What they mean? No, you they tell have me. They have you defined, brought it up. No, no. You tell me. They have defined a specific criteria what means anti-Semitic, right? What is Mitic. that? You don't know? No. Do right. you understand? No, no. You, you, you are bringing it up. Do you remember am, two hours ago? I am before? going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You said you are a Talib student. This is your homework. You can go and find out. Again, can you? Let me finish. No, no, no. Finish. don't be condescending. Let me finish. Do not be Let condescending. No, you said no. you are still. No, 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 no. Do you not be? Let's calm down, guys. Let's calm down. No, do not be condescending. Was he condescending or not? Let me finish. He's all. He's telling you what's your homework. I am surprised. Yeah, he's telling you. No, no, but you're asking a question about anti-Semitism no, 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 in a way as if you don't know what it is. No, 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 you said you are a student willing to learn. I'm simply directing you you can do that at home later that is what i mean no offense intended don't take that into account secondly once you know what antisemitism is defined by the israeli lobby for example do you think you have the right to go and 
use what they think is anti-Semitic against them and just be anti-Semitic according to their criteria? Right to offend. Do you have the right to offend? Yes. Yeah. Would you do that in Israel? Yeah. Good luck to you. Anyway. So now What's I'm your point? My point is... His point is you'll be now, locked up if you do that. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't have to agree with the laws. No, but really whether don't. you agree or not, you'll still be locked up. Yes, but so your, that's wrong. So your agreement is mean, pointless. But that's wrong. What makes that wrong? What do you mean? Yeah, what because it's okay. I think we should come back to that conversation so about you're saying, my freedom of speech. So, so you're saying what is right and wrong depends on what you consider to be infringement of your... Yeah. In language, yes. For what I language choose for myself is my decision. You don't get to tell me I don't, I don't use so the word right and wrong because you right, don't like it. So right and wrong comes from you in a particular way that you for feel. For myself, yes. Yeah. So for example, if you feel that it's wrong to speak to you, it's wrong, right? Everyone should consider it's wrong to speak to you. No for them. No, no, no. For I'm, you, for you. No, you're making this mistake because that's religi religious mentality where you try <laughs> religious to... Religious mentality? Yes, where comes you to try, no? try to impose. I can because you started it. So uh, two wrongs make a right. Impose. No, I'm just giving it back as, as good as I get. Uh, oh, you got it quite good actually. Where you try to impose your mentality on others. I'm, I'm not imposing. No, I'm simply you asking, are, you, asking. I'm saying this. what I'm choosing for myself is for me. Yeah. I'm not telling you that's true. I'm can you do that in any society? That's for me. In today's society, it's, in any society, can you do... It's so hard to believe Okay, let me you? ask you a simple question. Really? Simple question. Can you decide what is right and wrong in any society, yourself? You, individually? No. So you live in a world that doesn't really exist in your reality. Because you are saying there is no society in planet Earth which will agree society. with you what is right and wrong. Yeah, we don't have to be. Disagreement is good. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's good. Try it. You said, I decide what is right and wrong. For but me. For you, yes. yes. But you live in societies that. which doesn't care about you. But they, they align. When I choose something for myself and then 100 other people choose it is that for themselves, that aligns and then you create a community based on that. How is that so So you're, you're saying if a majority and agrees on something, that's good? No. <laughs> based on what then? No, it's, it's I don't understand your point then. What? to change. Why? Really? No, 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 no. I'm not asking about subject to change. I'm asking you that if the majority agree on certain thing, whether moral or immoral, How do you, know yes, something do you wait up or not? Hmm? Do you weigh up the differences based on, based on moral and immoral? Based on what is right and wrong? I choose it for myself, yeah. What yeah based on what? So you is causing happiness, pain, suffering, all of these Right. Nations. So if now all of the people think that, okay, we are going to lock up all the white people in prison because that's how it makes us happy, it's okay, right? No. That's just, causing suffering. You compare that. Why listen, don't you listen, see listen. that? Okay, let me ask you really? again. No, no. Did you really make I, that I, point? I misunderstood. Do you, do I you misunderstood you. So I'm going to ask you again. Okay, so if there's no suffering, what then it's okay. What makes something right or wrong? <laughs> Why didn't you pick a number join the queue? Maximizing happiness and minimizing suffering. <laughs> maximizing happiness of who? Collective. Collective. So if collectively people decide, now I'm going to use another example. Collective people decide, any French people come here with no offense to the French people. <laughs> suffering listen, listen. No, you do not get You are not allowing me to. If people collectively decide to have incest, would you say it's okay? And they're happy. And they're All happy of them. No suffering. Incest and they use condoms. <laughs> yeah, they use condoms. <laughs> yes. No. I, I won't have any problem with that. Oh, it'll be okay. So you'll be happy with sleeping with your mother or your father or Dude, your brother or your sister? All, yeah? First of all, first of all, I'm going to tell you this now. Yeah, tell me. I'm not dude, my name is Mansoor. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Right, I, you asked me if people decided to do that. Collectively, you including okay. you. Including me, that wasn't the part. No, I'm telling Was that you. part of the question? But would you be happy no, with no, that? No, no, no. It's Maghrib time. Do not lie. Was that part of the question? Are you going question? to pray Maghrib? So why are you worried about the time? Was that part of the question? Actually, he said... Are you... Now, are you... Oh, hold on. I'm answering. He said, in a society, yes, if everyone agrees, because your earlier criteria was... No, no. Did he... Well, I'm answering. You're doing it again. Me. Don't ask me if you're going to cut me off. Did he say including me? Did you say including me? When he said collectively, exactly. yes, that well, did well, not exclude exactly. you. Exactly. Because if, the question was... Let me answer. Let me be clear, though. What are you trying to answer? Let you already said it's okay. Yeah. Yes, now let me explain. Yes, yeah, you can speak with your mother, your father, no, your father, you your sister. Now you're getting, now you're getting personal. Me, me 
because you're not listening to me and then you come You were not listening to me earlier, you kept you cutting me off. Yes, okay. You said, don't fucking listen to me. Okay, you I think we should okay. stop here, Mansur, because no, he's no. doing it deliberately you're not, now. You're being triggered for some reason. No, you're listen not to able me. to handle this. Do you no, know what? Listen to In me. In your heart, you know it's you, wrong. You, be, yes, for me. For me, I choose not to do yeah. it. If other people choose, given they're not causing any He's okay with that. I'm nobody to tell them that's wrong. But you won't you do it yourself. No, I won't do it for myself. Why? Because I think it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because my relationship with my sisters and my mother is different. Remember, you said I'm, I'm, I'm the whole idea of right and wrong is okay. based I on think... maximum happiness. If your mother or your brother, your father, whatever, considers happy, you know, I think you're, right. you're saying you don't have to partake in it. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Okay. So, but exactly. but you still think that's moral, right? I'm saying I won't have any. No, no. I'm asking you. Do you still think it's moral? I'm saying I won't have any problem. Ali, I'm not saying to, for you I'm to partake in it. Hear me I out. I can be neutral hold on, and hold, not have any hold problem on. with that. I'm not saying you have to partake in it. All I'm asking is, if you agree with it, yeah. does it mean that you think I'm it's moral saying, or immoral? <laughs> It's simple. Okay, okay, okay. Simple. As okay, that. I, yeah. I think he considers it immoral. I think that's why he won't partake in it. What if your brother or your siblings they were doing that? Would be okay with that? They choose for themselves. Yeah. If your brother wants to sleep with his your mom or your dad, would you be okay with that? Not you. Honestly. Yeah. If it's not causing any further suffering. Yeah, no condoms, my friend. <laughs> I I have no problem. With it. Okay. Thank you very much. Continue. I, you think you've made a point? No, no he's, I'm not making a point. He's I just simply no. wanted to know on this issue, and that's it. You can really? And that's yeah, and that's, that's the reason. Exactly. I think no, the, no, the, the, the so the whole point that Mansoor was trying to make here is that your concept of morality and immorality is no. I'm saying you didn't even let me finish. You're doing it all the time. You guys, shall I call you an idiot now, look Ali? Me. Shall I call you an idiot because you didn't let me finish? No. <laughs> Why? No, because no, you've been doing it all day. What? Look at yourself. And you didn't call me idiot once. Why? <laughs> because you 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 weren't you okay. didn't misconstrue my word into bringing my family into. So it. why don't you? Because oh, that was the reason you were angry. Yes, I see. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think you should and I'm apologize. I'm perfectly fine to do that. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm I don't think you meant it like that. I gave it as an analogy. Yes, but I, I personally I personally don't use people within the analogy because right or yes. Wrong? What I'm saying is that what first Do I would first I would right first I want to know whether you consider that act of incest as moral or immoral. Let's start with that. Because you don't have a position. You no, you hold on. You said you were okay with it, so yes, you do if, have a position with they it. They choose for themselves. Of course, I never said you should partake. I'm saying, do you consider that act of other people okay. committing incest as moral or immoral? Okay. Now, once and for all, this is simple as that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it myself. I never said you should. I I think it's wrong for me. But no, no, why did you use the term wrong? Is it moral because, or immoral? Because I choose it for myself. No, I'm saying, is that because a... Oh my it's God. wrong for me. Ali, you oh, are not I even in the equation. I'm saying other people, when they do if it... it's not causing any suffering, yeah, I have no problem. What is it? Is it moral? I have no problem with that. I know, but is it moral? I have no problem with that. See, he's avoiding this because he knows it's immoral. He knows it, no but he problem. just doesn't have the guts to say it. Exactly. Poor guy. Because Poor guy. You know why? You know why? This is. I don't get to define yes, other people's people's morality. Morality. You have no guts to be anti Semitic. I, I have no problem okay. to define I think, I think to define look, other people's If you don't even understand the difference between moral and immoral, uh, and you're going to say it is wrong, I'm when you say something is wrong, then that's immoral already. So you're just using semantics now in order for you to look good in front of the camera, maybe for I, other atheists. I because at the end of the day, I know I know for certain atheists do not have a grounding in moral and immorality. That's why you're care. in this predicament now. I really do not care. Of course you wouldn't care about immorality because you're an atheist. Yes. That's what I've been telling you all along. Thank you for agreeing finally. I don't care, uh, care good. about your concept of it. Oh, you have a different concept of immorality? I choose for myself. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is your concept of morality? <laughs> you see, this is what happens. They will never acknowledge. At least acknowledge, my Fucking friend. Hell, I was here for two hours. I answered. Uh, so was I. So it. was I. Yeah, but and I didn't force you to stand really, here. You now, could have walked away any time. I asked you to stop and end it now. You you know, oh, look, he's running away. He's atheist. When did I say that? Now he's lying as well. Come on. It's on. You know, when, when you lose an argument, at least be humble enough to say, okay, Hashem, I've had enough. I've heard you. I'm going to go home and think about it. Instead I, of saying, did I ever say you're running away? I, you say, see, now you don't have any point anymore. So I didn't say you're running away, did I? You implied. When did I imply that? Now you implied. 
Okay, and you know what? Let's leave it there. Because yes, I think you're there. frustrated. Yes? Because you guys have been what is triggered? He's triggered. Okay. Why would you stand and talk to someone if you're frustrating? For two hours. Because you must be a real idiot if you did that. And you know why? You know why I normally don't call people idiot? But because you called my brother Mansoor idiot for no he, reason? He was for an no idiot. reason? He was yes, an idiot. That, that is the reason. But anyway, look. He was an look, idiot in that case. All I'm saying is that be sincere with yourself. When you see some, some when when you see certain things which are obvious, like there is no nothing, never was, never will be, yes, try to acknowledge it. Instead of trying to make yourself look foolish in a way, yes? <laughs> foolish, yes, by saying that one day we'll know. Come to yeah. see nothing or know nothing. No, no, existence. Yes, existence. trust me. Go and ask any professor in a university or anywhere. I never said that. Are you guys? Really it's on camera, my friend. That? You cannot deny it. No, I said it might happen. See what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Are you guys? Really All right, let's leave it there. I let's mean, see. Are you are you closed? Yeah, 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 be open. Actually, <laughs> one day you might become a toad or a potato. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. You can become a cauliflower. It's possible. One really? day. Yeah. Maybe you don't even exist. <laughs> okay, anyway, thanks thanks for your time, Ali, for your two hours. So, Jazakallah Khairan for listening. I mean, I didn't want you to wind down in that way, in a, in a way which I, I prefer it to, and in a more amicable way, so next time we can probably. But when, when it comes to being stubborn, arrogant, and actually in denial of the most basic things, whether there is objective truth, subjective truth, you know, which even the most town atheists will agree with. Yes? Even those people, this guy here is trying to be clever that if I stand on the fence, yes, I can get away with anything and everything. No, you can't. Because you look entirely and utterly foolish if you start denying reality, if you start denying your own consciousness, then all these faculties that you have, the very faculties that you have been using to question us and to respond to us and to use refutations and rebuttals, you deny that very self, that very thing. And so in chapter 41, verse 53, Allah clearly says that we will show you your signs in the horizons and within yourself. And this is what these people are denying actually. They will even deny that. So when the clearest signs are shown to them, they will deny it. And he says, on the day of judgment, he said it himself, on the day of judgment, I will tell Allah, why you cause these people to, to, uh, to suffer? Yes, I, you're not worth your worshipping. Na'udhu Billah. If he, his mouth will be sealed on that day. Yes, his hands, his limbs will speak that day. Yes, the very limbs that he used in this world to commit whatever sins he has done, and that goes for everyone. Yes, will give, will bear witness on the day of judgment. When the reality comes, there's no way he'll have the guts to even stand in front of Allah straight, yes, with confidence, let alone say that you cause all this suffering and so on. Okay? Anyway, look, the important thing is that when people say that suffering is a reason that I don't believe in God, they do not understand, yes, that this suffering can be a test. It is a test for the believers. There are many Muslims who suffer. There are many Muslim children who suffer. There are non-Muslims who suffer. We don't deny this. When the tsunami comes, it doesn't check for Muslims and non-Muslims. Indonesia is a majority Muslim country. Why did they have tsunami over there? This is because it is a test. The people who live there, yes, they bore it with patience. And even today, they pray to Allah. They haven't given up believing in Allah after such a calamity. This is the beauty of a believer that when a calamity falls upon you, you bear it with patience and you say, Alhamdulillah. When some goodness comes to you, when, when you are having some, some good things or some uh, reward in your life, yes, when some good news comes to you, you say, Alhamdulillah, that time as well. That is the beauty of the Muslims and the believers. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khairan. Please. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I love um, Few things to notice in here. There are people who have a thought they've made themselves to not to believe in Islam or believe in nothing whatsoever. But the problem that we notice is this this mentality of superiority complex. The pop problem the complex of the ego. They think they fare better, they know better, but they somehow think that it's it, nothing makes sense to them. So even if you argue with them rationally and logically and reasonably, it 
definite click because they've already made up a mind. Why, why I was asking earlier on, what would convince you that as a compelling evidence, as an evidence that would be satisfactory and convincing that yes, God exists? And the example we provided and asked them, okay, suppose this is given, would you 100% agree that's God? They said no. They don't even know what they're asking exactly. for. What they're the looking problem. for. No criteria, nothing. Yeah, that's the problem. And then they end up questioning and fighting for what they've heard. Remember, these people, they haven't just left the belief in a God, the belief in Islam. They are trying constantly in a struggle to fight it. They have formed groups and organizations. They come with a group and organization, one helping each other. Like Ex-Muslim, yes. Whatever, yeah. And uh, they, they're on this mission. As if they have the higher upper ground. But once you really scrutinize their belief system, Hashim was pointing to simply about Nothing. right and wrong and morality. Right? What makes something good or bad, right and wrong? And as you realize, when you grill them, on the surface, it's okay. Homosexuality is okay, bestiality is okay, incest is okay, this is okay, that is okay, right? When you bring their own self into the picture, their own family, you saw the reaction. You saw it yourself. Wind back the video that you're watching and look at the reaction. Zoom in the picture if you're able to, you will see. Because deep in their heart, they know it's immoral. They know it's wrong. They know it's disgusting. They know it's not acceptable. But because they don't have any basis of right and wrong, if you don't talk about their family or themselves, they will say it's okay, as long as people are happy. So my brother here just hinted to me to talk about the issues about own siblings. He saw the reaction too. So that's what we are saying. People, when they lose their belief in God, what happens? They have no objective standards to assess, to even debate, argue on the concept of right, wrong, good or bad, or even morality, because everything is very subjective. I ask constantly, what makes things right for you, or whatever I decide. But as you realize, that itself is not being consistent. But the main argument we were talking about is the existence of God. Surprisingly, these two individuals that we spoke to today, they believe in a possibility that yes, one day, we will come to this realization that nothingness can make something. That non-existence can bring about existence. Or they'll see nothing one day. <laughs> I mean, this is really, really mind-boggling people. It's it tells volumes, you know why? Because the alternative option is really challenging for them. Because if nothingness cannot exist and bring about something, the only option left is there's always something. That universe cannot be that because it is not a personal agent. It doesn't have a will to bring about change. So you will be left with the concept of a personal agent with will and wisdom and power to bring about this reality. That is the picture of a creator, which they have been running away from. Yeah. That is why this constant struggle, and that is why they know in their heart this will hunt them. It will hunt them in their dreams. They will have nightmares, but that's their choice. If they want to go against God, and it's clear evidence for its existence. We don't have to prove God exists. The evidence is all manifest clearly. You need to have the eyes here and here. Because it is not that your eyes are blind, it's your heart that is blind. Thank you. Okay. So inshallah before we finish, just want to say that we are in the last ten days of Dhul Hajjah. These are very very blessed days. Uh, the best days, uh, as in the hadith has been described, is the best days during of, of, of the year. You know, Alhamdulillah, some say even uh, even like more than uh, uh, the days in Ramadan. So anyway, Alhamdulillah, is blessed days. So please try to increase in your ibadah, in your dhikr, in your tilawa, the reading of the Quran, uh, uh, praising Allah, uh, saying the uh, 
saying salawat on the Prophet uh, and fasting if uh, if you can, inshallah. And try to fast everyone if possible on the Yawm al Arafah, uh, the day of Arafah. And this, uh, the fasting, as it says in the Quran, it expiates your sins of the past year and the year to come. So, inshallah, there's great reward in it. Try your best um, and inshallah, make dua for all of us uh, that Allah make it easy upon the whole of the Ummah, in fact, that this pandemic that we are experiencing, it's, it's, something that, uh, it's something which is a test upon us. So please, Allah, do not test us more. Yes, make it easy upon those who, who are suffering from it and give, uh, uh, give the status of martyrs or, or of uh, shaheed to those people who have passed away from it. Uh, and please keep us all in your duas. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.